Let me show you how to use the diagnostics capabilities within Control Hub. Diagnostics helps you troubleshoot WebEx quality of service issues by providing detailed insight into what's happening in the meeting. From the main Control Hub page, click Troubleshooting on the left panel. You can search for meetings by conference ID, meeting number, or participant email. If you search by email address, you can see a list of all the meetings that the person participated in over the last seven days. You can click on the calendar icon to expand the search for up to 30 days. You can sort the list of meetings by any of the column headings simply by clicking on the heading. Click the meeting that you want to troubleshoot. There are two levels of diagnostics. First, the meeting summary gives you a view at a glance of what's happening in the meeting. From here, you can drill down into participant details to get more information about how that person joined and their quality of service metrics over time. On the left side, you can see a list of all the participants in the meeting. Hover over a participant to learn more about how they joined the meeting. You may see multiple lines for one participant. If a participant used two devices to join, such as the WebEx Meetings desktop app and a callback to their phone, there will be two lines for that person. This allows you to visualize the quality of service for each device and media path independently. The Meeting Details panel contains key information about the meeting overall, including meeting duration, the WebEx site used for the meeting, if the meeting was recorded, and the total sharing time. In the middle of the screen, you can see quality of service indicators. The shape at the beginning of each line represents the join meeting time. The line indicates the quality of service for each participant's audio, video, and sharing, represented by green, yellow, and red. The legend on the right shows which metrics we use and the quality threshold. Note that just because you see yellow or red, it doesn't mean that the participant experienced or perceived issues. It only indicates that quality metrics, packet loss, latency, or jitter, are above the threshold that could impact quality of service. Also notice the tabs at the top for audio, video, and sharing. Switch between the three to see the quality of experience for that particular media stream. Click a participant who reported service quality issues to get more information about their meeting experience. Here, you can see more details that you can use to diagnose issues specific to that participant. For example, a poor quality headset, high CPU usage on a laptop, or network bandwidth for people working remotely could all affect their WebEx experience. In the panel on the right, you can see a breakdown of the participant's equipment and network information, including how they joined, the hardware they used, and the network connection type. A participant using a Wi-Fi connection for their video device at home may get a better experience with a direct Ethernet connection. Now, let's look at the quality data. You can see quality metrics for audio, video, and sharing over the duration of the meeting, all in a single scrollable screen which updates every minute. Expand or collapse the signal type that you want to look at and select a red area to highlight the column. The highlighted column helps you focus on the quality metrics, such as packet loss, latency, jitter, and resolution that can help you determine the root cause of the issue. For instance, participants who are traveling or who work from home might have insufficient network bandwidth or bandwidth contention resulting in high packet loss, jitter, or latency. Scroll down to see the participant's system and app CPU usage data during the meeting. This data can help you resolve performance-related issues. If you see spikes in system CPU usage, for instance, the participant might have had other applications running, such as an antivirus scan. If you see a period where the media bitrate, frame rate, or resolution dropped, you can compare the signal quality data with the equipment data. Poor quality audio and video may result from the type of microphone or camera the participant used. Please note that fluctuations in resolution are a normal part of WebEx meetings. For example, when viewing shared content, the resolution of other video streams is often reduced. 
so it's best to use the resolution indication in combination with other quality metrics, like packet loss, to root cause issues. IT administrators have a tough job. There are so many variables in the meeting participant and company environment that can impact any web conferencing quality of service. All this rich data helps you get to the root of the issue faster to help improve your user's WebEx experience.